Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Nuclear fission is one type of nuclear reaction where a heavier nucleus, when bombarded by a neutron of sufficient velocity, splits into two or more lighter nuclei and at the same time releases one or more neutrons and energy. Another type of nuclear reaction is nuclear fusion, where two or more lighter nuclei are combined to form a heavier nucleus. Whereas high-velocity neutrons are required to initiate nuclear fission, very high temperature, a critical iron density and sufficient confinement time are required to initiate fusion reaction. Nuclear fusion is the source of extreme energy of the stars including the sun. So, let's look into the basic differences between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in nuclear fission reaction. A heavier nucleus splits into two or more lighter nuclei due to the bombardment of neutron, whereas, in nuclear fusion reaction, two or more lighter nuclei get combined to produce a heavier nucleus. Number 2. Nuclear fission was first discovered by scientists Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann, whereas, nuclear fusion was first discovered by scientist Hans Budd. Number 3. Energy release per atom in fission is comparatively higher. Whereas, energy release per atom of fusion is usually lower. Number 4. In nuclear fission reaction, energy release per unit nucleon is significantly lower. Whereas, in nuclear fusion reaction, energy release per unit nucleon in fusion is higher, and thus fusion offers high energy density. Number 5. In order to initiate a fission reaction, a high velocity neutron is desired. To sustain the chain reaction, a critical mass of fuel is desired, whereas, three conditions, namely very high temperature in the order of 10 to the power of 7, to 10 to the power of 8 Kelvin, critical iron density, and sufficient confinement time are required to initiate fusion reaction. Number 6, nuclear fission is a self-sustained reaction because of its capability to undergo spontaneous chain reaction, whereas, nuclear fusion is not a chain reaction, so it is not self-sustained. That is, one fusion incident does not influence another one. Number 7, fission is possible for atoms with higher atomic number. Theoretically, iron is considered as boundary as it has highest binding energy per nucleon. So all elements in the periodic table after iron can possibly undergo nuclear fission, whereas, fusion is possible for atoms with lower atomic numbers. Theoretically, all elements in the periodic table before iron can possibly undergo nuclear fusion. Number 8, fission can be controlled and manipulated effectively, and therefore it can be utilized for several mankind purposes, such as for large-scale power generation in nuclear power plant, whereas, to the fullest advancement of science in today's scenario, it is not possible to control the fusion reaction efficiently after its initiation. Thus it lacks large-scale applications towards mankind. Number 9, Uranium-233, Uranium-235, and Plutonium-239 isotopes are three potential fuel for nuclear reactors that work based on fission, whereas, deuterium and tritium are two common isotopes of hydrogen used in fusion reactors, such reactors are still used for trial and research purpose only. Number 10. Mostly nuclear fission reaction leads to the generation of radioactive materials, whereas, fusion reaction usually does not generate radioactive materials. This is the biggest benefit of nuclear fusion. And, difference number 11, apart from nuclear reactors in power plant, fission reaction is also utilized in several nuclear weapons, notably atom bomb, whereas, nuclear fusion occurs in the sun and other stars, in fact, Fusion is the source of energy and light of the stars. Uncontrolled fusion is also utilized in hydrogen bomb.